The most volatile week of the year is approaching, and the market is preparing for it, as the American elections between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are causing a lot of uncertainty. The presidential elections in the United States on November 5, 2024, are particularly exciting. Presidential candidates Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are neck and neck in the polls. In addition to the the political and economic impact of these elections, there are also many questions from you about the potential effects on the crypto market, depending of course on who wins. Let me know in a comment who you expect to win, Trump or Harris, like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. If you find crypto cool, want to learn more and earn more money with crypto, you're doing the right thing. Leave a comment and you can win 100 UCT just like this person. Congratulations. Send your USDT TRC20 address to cornite.cornymarchand.nl and then you will receive mine. This video is in collaboration with CryptoDries. So if you like it, you can give him a follow on Instagram at CryptoDries. And if you are active on Instagram, you can also give me a follow at Corny Martin. So what is the current status of the polls? Well, According to the latest polls, both candidates have almost an equal chance of obtaining the 270 electoral votes needed to secure the presidency. Trump is slightly better positioned in the important swing states, including Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and also Wisconsin. Kamala Harris has a slight lead in Michigan, but many of these states remain within the margin of error, which means that the race is therefore unpredictable and both could simply become president. Swing states Nevada, Arizona, uh, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin remain key states in this election. The candidate who secures a majority here will likely have the best chance of winning the elections. When are the election results expected? Although election day falls on November 5th, it may take several days to even weeks before all the votes are counted and the final winner is known, especially if it becomes a tight race, which is likely to happen. In various swing states, a high turnout is expected and mail-in ballots may take longer to process. Most analysts expect that a preliminary winner will be announced around November 7th, provided there are no legal disputes or recounts. In terms of crypto innovation and regulations, how do they stand on that? Both Democratic and Republican positions on crypto are crucial for investors, with Harris leaning more towards regulation and Trump looking more towards that regulation. Harris, currently the vice president, and Trump have completely different approaches to regulating crypto and digital currencies. The candidate's positions could significantly influence the crypto sector. Especially for crypto investors, the candidate's plans are important, given the effects of possible regulations and incentives in the long term. This is why it is also called the crypto election which is very important. Kamala Harris has recently taken a stance regarding cryptocurrency and digital currencies. Shortly before the elections, she emphasized that her administration would like to support digital assets and innovative technologies such as AI, provided that consumers and investors are protected. So on its own, that's actually quite good. This approach partly distinguishes her from President Biden, whose administration previously took a strict stance against crypto companies. Harris seems to be choosing a kind of middle ground, advocating for both regulation and innovation to promote both investor protection and economic growth so it would actually be just fine and bullish if Harris were to win. The vice president indicates that her administration would support the crypto industry more than that of President Joe Biden, bullish, whose regulators have taken a clear stance regarding crypto. In Congress, the key Democrats, including Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Elizabeth Warren, whom we all know, have taken conflicting positions on whether this industry is a valuable innovation or more of a magnet for fraud. Well, we all know what it is. Most scams and criminal activities are conducted with the dollar and normal fiat money and actually not that much through crypto. Certainly not because it is becoming more regulated and well-maintained. Harris has also included specific policy proposals in her opportunity agenda that are intended to promote crypto as a means of wealth building in minority communities. That's fine. This includes plans to create economic opportunities for black um, men through safe access to digital assets and other financial services. I consider this discrimination and a lack of ability, right? It should be for black men, it should be for white men, and it should be accessible to everyone, not just a specific group. I find it a strange statement, a strange remark. Guys, I found out that very few of you know that we actually have free access to the community. You can also join the paid community for free. You don't have access to everything or everywhere. So, but you simply have crypto groups where you can brainstorm with other members. 
you will receive support from my team. And now and then, there are even free signals and important announcements. In short, without any money, you can join a large, the largest crypto community in the Netherlands and Belgium. It has been active for four years, where thousands of members are involved and where you are simply helped along the way. I have included a link under the video. You can join the community completely for free, so make sure to take advantage of that. What about Trump and his expected crypto policy? Trump's attitude towards crypto has undergone a dramatic turnaround. Although he was quite critical in 2019 and labeled Bitcoin as a scam, he has now adopted a position that is simply appealing to pro-crypto voters. Trump has spoken out against the creation of a digital dollar by the Federal Reserve, thus the CBDC, and has indicated that he wants to promote Bitcoin mining in the United States. Additionally, he also wants to dismiss Gary Ganser, positive. Well, fast forward to October 15th, 2024, and that is that he declared that crypto is the future. He calls it an incredible technology and reiterates his intention to help the United States become a world leader in digital assets. Additionally, he is considering policies that would give crypto companies more freedom. As such, the easing of tax rules for transactions and also the reduction of restrictions on crypto exchanges, Trump has received increasing support from the crypto world. This is logical, of course, partly due to his criticism of the strict measures of the current government. The expectation is that Trump will continue to focus on the growth of crypto with policies aimed at economic growth, tax benefits, and reduced oversight costs for Hanfi companies in the crypto sector. Some even speculate that he might consider a strategic reserve of Bitcoin. He has said this himself. He has also stated that he wants to make the United States the capital of the crypto world. That is, of course, extremely bullish. Trump has consistently made it clear that he is against any form of the CBDC. I am, of course, very happy about that, and it would be good for the United States. Tonight, I also promise to protect Americans from government tyranny. As your president, I would never allow the establishment of a central bank digital currency, said Trump. During a speech on January 17th in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, quote, such a currency would give the federal government, our government, absolute control over your money. They could take your money, and you wouldn't even know it was gone. This would pose a dangerous threat to freedom, and I will prevent it from coming to America. Thus spoke Trump. Trump claims to be the great protector against government tyranny. His comments regarding CBDCs seem to have been made seriously and were supported in July when he spoke at the Bitcoin 2024 conference in Nashville. Quote, I will immediately instruct the Department of Finance and other federal agencies to stop and cease all necessary steps. Because you know, something is going on in your industry. They want to move the establishment of a central bank digital currency. It's over. Forget it. There will never be a CBDC while I am President of the United States. And I will always defend the right to self-preservation. Thus said Trump. Now, here briefly is my own view. They are both, of course, politicians and can certainly say a lot to win votes. That is what always happens. What struck me while making this special is that it is particularly difficult to find articles or sources that support Donald Trump in a positive way, compared to Kamala Harris. And the media also seems to have a preference for Harris in this regard. And this has, of course, been proven. Of the 100% of media coverage about Trump, 85% has been negative. For Kamala, it is 78% positive. We also know that the media channels are in the hands of the parties that govern the world, especially in the United States, and that they also want Kamala Harris to become president to continue the same Obama-Biden policies. Trump's policy seems much better for crypto in the long term to me, and Harris has only recently taken a stance, while Trump did this months ago. With Harris, I really have the feeling that it is about winning and stealing some last votes from Trump. Since she only took a clear stance last month, well, this was the video for now. I hope you liked it. This election Trump Harris special. If so, give it a like. Share it with friends and family. And hopefully, I'll see you back in the next one. Adios.